high developers so uh, now we will apply validation on user login form in last part we integrated the user uh, login api with that ui but uh, we haven't apply any validation at all so now we'll apply that validation uh, we will apply two kind of validation validations basically first one is uh, user input validation second one we will apply the validation on uh, api data so for example we just enter some details for user and uh, click on the login and in api we did not get any user details that means there is a no user according to that email and password so we will apply the validation that case also so let's check out the points of this video so first of all we will apply the validation on input field and we will show the error message with the input fields also and after that uh, if uh, any of uh, input field is not valid uh, then button will also be disabled in that case and we will also check that the we are getting any user in uh, api or not and we'll apply the validation in that case also so now let's uh, open the user auth component.html here we are using template driven forms so we will apply all of these validation in html part only so this is our uh, login form and whenever you are want to apply any validation you have to just give any id with a start with the hashtag uh, so let's say uh, this is the input field so i'll just give the id of this input field is email and uh, the value will be ng model all right second thing what kind of validation you want to apply like you want to apply uh, based on the length for email or for empty field and all so uh, let's start with the empty field first so for that you just need to give their a uh, property with the name of required and there is a no value at all with that right and uh, let's check that how you will just get to know this is valid or not field so let's just check this input field in html area and uh, now you can see that uh, we have a invalid class ng invalid class uh, with our input field right that means this field is not valid why this is not valid because uh, there is a no data for a moment so if i just uh, put some data and now you can see that this is valid because now this is not empty right and in that case if you just want to show some uh, error message and all so what you need to do here you can just take simple uh, any uh, html tag there and you can simply check their uh, star ng if and your field id like uh, this field id is email so i'm just putting their email dot invalid right if this is invalid we can say that this is not a or we can say that like uh, please enter valid input right and uh, now you will you will find that we can see this error there like please enter input field but if i just enter something that error will be gone from there right but uh, uh, now we don't want to show this error only on the page load so if you just uh, uh, try to enter something and that is not valid that time it should uh, visible there right that should be displayed so for that we have one more property there with the this uh, uh, with email uh, id which is uh, email dot touched that means if we just uh, entered something or we just made made a focus on input field that time it will just show the invalid message now you can see that there is this is not valid for a moment and if i just focus over there and if i just come outside then it will just showing that error right so now let's provide some color and all there so i'm just opening a style and uh, we can say that our uh, mm, let's say class name is dot invalid input or something right and uh, then you can see that color is red font size you can apply let's say 12 pixel or anything and i am putting here margin uh, top minus 20 pixel so that it uh, it will manage there uh, because there is a lots of gap between there and you can just fix it with the uh, some better way also because i am not focusing on the uh, focusing on style that's why i am just not 
giving a, a proper style and all. So, all right, so we have to just apply this class uh, there also. So let's just apply with the p tag. And now you can see that a proper valid message, right? And same thing we can uh, do with the uh, password also, right? So I am just giving the required field and all. So the I, the name of this field you can put their password and uh, just put their ng model there. And second one is required. You can simply put there, right? And keep. Don't forget to just change this email with the password. Otherwise, it will just connect with the above field, right? And and now you can see that both fields are working properly fine. So if you just enter some data, this is still uh, this is work, working fine, right? So now let's say you want to apply the validation there for emails. Then just simply put their email, and you want to provide the validation with the minimum length to if length is uh, less than two and maximum length should be 20 if this criteria is not full full fulfill then it will show errors so now if i'm just trying to add write something then it will still say this is not valid because it it will asking for the email id right now this is valid and same with the password if I just put one character, then it will still give the error. And if I just put more than one, then this is working fine. So if this is uh, not valid field, then this button should also be disabled, right? So for that, what I'm just going to do there, uh, uh, keep in mind, if our input fields are invalid, that means our form is also invalid and form name is their user login. So just come back to the button, put there a disable property and uh, simply check that if user login form is invalid that time this should be disabled but how we can identify that this is disabled so just come back there and now you can see that there's a disable property right and uh, we want to apply just make some style also with that so just come back there and put button colon disable and we can just change the cursor pointer there right cursor is not allowed and let's uh, check it out now th those these both fields are not valid because there is a not proper valid data so here you can see that this is uh, not allowed cursor is there if i just put their uh, email id and password then this is working all right there is a no issue even even only one field is invalid then still this will uh, uh, not allowed to click there right all right so after that uh, what we need to uh, do there okay so let's say uh, the data is valid there so let me just try with the wrong password right so i just made some wrong password there even wrong email id and if i'm just clicking on the login because it will allow because this is a proper email format and proper password format but data is not present in the DB. I'm just clicking over there. You can see that there is a no data in return in that API. There is a lots of error here. You can see that. And uh, even you can uh, see that there is a no name and all right. But we have to handle this case also. So first of all, just uh, come back to the application. Just remove this invalid value for a user and just go come back to the login in there right and uh, just come on the user service .ts. and here we have to check that if uh, result uh, body have length that means this there is some data right that time this will just go with that flow otherwise we have to just go inside the else and we have to apply just some conditions so what we will apply there all right so what we can do there you can Mm, just uh, put a property let's say mm, mm, property name is invalid user 
auth or something right whatever key you want to make you can just do that and uh, that will be a new event emitter and that will be the type of boolean and by default value is false because by default we are just expecting that this is valid and let me just fix that spelling right we are expecting that uh, this is not invalid so uh, so let's say if we just come that in the else condition we can say that this dot uh, invalid user auth dot emit and we can see that true right now this field will be invalid and we can put that condition inside the else part also and there will be false all right and now we have to just get this property inside our user auth.ts file so let's come back there and in user case we, we will check there this dot user dot invalid user auth dot subscribe we can see that result is there and uh, here we can see that uh, okay that will be a uh, callback function right so result and uh, if you want to check there you can just do just for example console.warn let's check the result what we are getting there right so for a moment i am putting the wrong details there with the wrong email id and i'm just clicking on a login and you can see that this is true that means this is invalid right and uh, in case of if i'm just putting their correct detail abc123 password then it should work and this is false right and this is you can see that this is logged in also so i'm just again logging it uh, out right and here again we will take a property so let's say property name is uh, auth error or something by default this will be string but that will be empty string right and if we got the result if result is true we can see that this dot uh, user not found or something right we can just put any kind of uh, error message there so now we have to just show over the html part so you can just show inside the form even you can show the outside the form also but form is actually aligned align with this field that's why i'm just putting it there so and we can also apply the color from uh, i just check out the class this error p right so class is error p and now everything is set let's just check it out with the uh, wrong class name uh, oh sorry you uh, wrong details something like this and uh, password is also wrong even if one thing is also wrong then still it will just show you the error you can see that user not found and now i will just put a proper details uh, abc123 and if i'm just clicking over there you can see that we are just successfully logged in right and even we can logged out also from there if you want here we go so that's all for this part and if you still have any kind of query you, uh, any kind of issue you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section